The senior cop said that among the immediate focus of the Criminal Investigation Department and the Ghana Police Force is to ensure that citizens end the year on a positive note and with less disruptions from those with criminal intent. With our focus for the last few days in 2017, we continue to be very strong and resolute as it relates to the crime situation. More so, you know, at this time of the year, the intense um, business and the shopping environment. We will see, you know, a lot of persons stepping out there for the Christmas. So as a result of that, we do have a collaborative um, approach in terms of from CID headquarters and along with the divisional commanders to ensure that we create a safe and a conducive environment for persons throughout the entire season, whether at home or on the streets. He said that his department wants to have a better year in 2018 compared to 2017 and 2016. According to the crime chief, the department will go back to the drawing board to review several issues and look at ways in which they can improve the way they do things in the new year. I know for 2018, very, very challenging year ahead of us. But sitting down in the office of the crime chief, my focus will be first to do an evaluation what would have happened for 2017, compare with 2016, and then see where the gaps lies and what we can be able to do now to bridge those gaps, whether in the area of training, whether in the area of resources, you know, whatever it is, because that is important in order to ensure that we don't make the same mistakes and to ensure that we step up in terms of our performance and efficiency. The crime chief said that in 2018, the CID would be reviewing specific CCTV footage relating to certain investigations and work will continue in those areas of building capacity for detectives. What we're looking at as it relates to ensure that my ranks attend almost all of the training that is being offered by the Guyana Police Force in service training. I would like to see them go out there, maximize the use of that training. And also we do have our special departmental training. I will focus a lot on that and to ensure that their capacity is being built and strengthened so that they can continue to perform at a very high standard and what is expected of them to give a service to this nation. Williams in his interview confirmed that he is now the substantive crime chief. He was given the post after Wendell Blanham was posted to a division as the deputy commander. Leroy Smith, Newsroom.